proud tradition as they step forward to join this rich heritage. Ahead of them lie bright futures that will now no doubt add to the proud growing legacy that they now rightfully claim as their own. Lance Cobra Bruno is a two-year-old full-blooded English Bulldog born in Fogbrook, California on October 22, 2022. He is named after Major General Bruno Hookmount, who at the time of his death was the first general officer killed during the Vietnam War. Major General Hookmount was also the commander general of the depot from November 1963 to February 1967. General Hookmount was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal, the Legion of Merit with Combat V for Valor, the Navy Combination Medal for Post Star Lou of Third Award, and the Purple Heart with Post Star Lou of Third Award. Lance Corporal Bruno continues the tradition of long line of Marine Corps Bulldog mascots dating back to 1921, when Brigadier General Smelly Butler appointed Sergeant Major Jiggs as the first Bulldog mascot for Marine Corps Barracks, Guanaco. Lance Corporal Bruno is being escorted by the Office of Communication Strategy and Operations, Corporal Sarah Grackhoff. Spiritual development plays an important part in making the United States Marine. Lieutenant Victor Stevens, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation pair. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Lord, I come before you this day, and we are a thankful people. We are thankful for moments like these, where we might gather and celebrate the milestone victories of those that we love, and those that we care for. Lord, I pray and I ask that you would bless not only these Marines that will walk across this parade deck momentarily, but I also pray and ask that you would bless all the in the stands. Lord, we know that their love and their support has helped carry their Marine across this parade deck. And so Lord, as these Marines now cross this place, this hallowed ground, Lord, we pray and we ask that as this is merely the beginning for them, that they would go on to do great things, wherever they may find themselves, whether they find themselves stationed far or near, whether they find themselves in a place of peace or in a place of conflict. Lord, we pray and we ask that you would be with them and that we know that we might always look to you, that you are truly Semper Fidelis, always faithful. For this we do pray and we ask in your holy name, Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Take a pump. Aye, aye, sir. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historical event in the life of Marine. Their graduation from boot camp, approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, New Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The depot is also home to recruiter school and drill instructor school. All of our efforts here are geared towards one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marine Corps, this morning, Delta Company, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in a parade. Following the passing review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing staff for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is compromised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander of Troops is 1st Sergeant Jim Laka, 
and the parade adjutant is Sergeant Kyle Grunder. units are now being called to attention at the adjutant's command sound adjutant's call will begin today's parade. of the graduate Marines from Delta Company. Among the 576 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private Fabian Alvarez from Platoon 1070 is the company high shooter, scoring a 338 out of 350. Lance Corporal Emma Ruiz from Platoon 1069 is the most physically fit Marine, scoring a 300 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and a 300 out of 300 on the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the company honor graduate recruiter, Sergeant Giovanni Travis Adams. Also present today is the primary marksmanship instructor with a platoon high shoulder average of 238 out of 250. For platoon 1070, Sergeant Sebastian Hyde. Recruit training is compromised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison, are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills, and practice the personal professional traits which distinguish them as Marines. Examples of these traits are discipline, the achievement of self-control and self-awareness which assures respect for authority, instant willing to obedience to orders, and a self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing, consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as a proper wearing and maintenance of uniform. A spirit of the Corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps and inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, morale, courage, integrity, camaraderie, and a burning desire to work and for others towards excellence and common goals. For 248 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls. In the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideas of freedom with grit and tenacity. Although battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with steel resolve. The drive to overcome any obstacle and the warrior spirit to fight against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our story legacy. Marines today remain in combat, forward deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. Their resolve is most ready when a nation is least ready to defend freedom at any time, anywhere. To stand ready to aid the devastated by natural disasters. To pay tribute to the chapter to honor our legacy and to honor the families and the loved ones who bravely stand beside us. For the Marines, of Delta Company, today marks the end of a 13 week training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton as well on this parade day. They have been trained as our all Marines as a basic rifleman. In addition, Due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard Recruit Depot. They are Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest organization.
The platoons are not being aligned from left to right in order to get them into the exact positions for the parade. next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during a national anthem to place their right hands over their hearts. And for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it, will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.
the command knows the colors, the color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command. signals the band to parade forward of the Assembly Marines while playing military marching music.
great Agenet now presents the assembly command to the commander of troops. Officer Santa March, our unit commander, and that officer is marching in front of the center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that the commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders will face a foul, return to the units, and pass information along to the Marines.
nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we'd like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the dedicated service to poor and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander, the first recruit training battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Roger A. Hollenbeck. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the commanding general, Brigadier General Ryans, and the regimental commander, Colonel Ryan, welcome to Marine Corps Recruit Depot. I'd like to extend a special welcome to today's parade review and whose impressive bio you'll hear in a moment. No stranger to the recruiting environment, currently serving in the Eastern Recruiting Region, Sergeant Major Garcia. Welcome. Today's ceremony recognizes your new Marine and all they've accomplished in the last 13 weeks. Gathering here is individuals from all walks of life and all corners of the globe. They've stepped onto the legendary yellow footprints and into uncertainty. They dug deep, they trained hard, they came together and stand before you as a confident team of Marines, the best this nation has to offer. Now, this magical transformation that you're seeing here today didn't happen on its own. So I'd like to thank those that made it possible. The foundation of their character wasn't made here. It was made in your homes, in your schools, and in your communities. So thank you to the parents, teachers, families, friends, and coaches. Your love, your support, and for some of our younger Marines, your signature on that contract set conditions vital to their success. So thank you. Please give yourselves a round of applause. To our outstanding drill instructors who've spent literally every moment teaching, training, mentoring, and leading these Marines, their dedication and commitment has left a tremendous and lasting impact on your loved one who will always remember and appreciate their efforts. Now the drill instructors and officers are able to commit themselves to the business of making Marines because of the love and support of their families who also join us in the audience today. So if you would, please join me in a well-deserved round of applause for the drill instructors and the families of Delta Company. I'd also like to recognize the martial arts, marksmanship, water survival, and academics instructors, our outstanding chaplain, corpsman, and the entire medical team who've kept us physically strong strong physically, spiritually, and mentally. I'd also like to thank, <laughs> thank you, all right. Um, in fact, joining us from Weapons Field Training Battalion is Sergeant Hine, responsible for training a platoon with the highest rifle qualification score. And joining us from Recruiting Station Harrisburg, Pennsylvania is Sergeant Traversi, responsible for recruiting today's honor graduate. Outstanding work, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me, 
while I address the nation's newest Marines for one last time as their battalion commander. Good morning, Marines. I mean, you gotta love that, right? I mean, come on. You made it to graduation. You earned the Eagle Globe and Anchor, and you earned the look of pride on your loved one's face across this parade deck. It took you 13 weeks to earn this feeling, but it doesn't stop here. We promised you a challenge, and we will continue to deliver. You must continue to earn the title every day to honor the legacy of those that came before you and to blaze trail for the next wave of warriors. The Marine Corps will be what you make it. So never forget the skills, the spirit, and the values that have been drilled into you, and I guarantee your success. You represent the Marine Corps now, and you are the future of this institution. You are my replacement and the replacement of your drill instructor. So stand tall, take charge, and when you get home, I want you to introduce all your friends to your local recruiter. Congratulations, Marines. Thank you for your hard work and for your dedication to serve this great nation of ours. And this nation needs her Marines. Take care of each other and cultivate the relationships you've made with your fellow Marines. They will serve you well. Welcome to the Corps, Semper Fidelis. Now taking the position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Sergeant Major Seal G. Garcia, Sergeant Major Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island in the Eastern Recruiting Region. He is accompanied by Sergeant Major Orangeo Elibi, Sergeant Major Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego in the Western Recruiting Region. Sergeant Major Garcia enlisted in the Marine Corps in November of 1997 out of Santa Ana, California. Upon graduating from Marine Corps recruit training, Sergeant Major Garcia attended Marine Combat Training at Camp Pendleton, California, then reported to Logistics Embarkation Specialist School in Coronado, California. Sergeant Major Garcia has served in a variety of challenging billets and numerous commands to include Battalion Embarkation Chief and 3rd Battalion, 5th Marine Regiment, 1st Marine Division, Camp Pendleton, California. Drill Instructor, Senior Drill Instructor, and Sears Chief Drill Instructor at Alpha Company, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. Regimental Logistics Chief at 5th Marine Regiment, 1st Marine Division. During this period, he deployed in support, in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom with Regimental Combat Team 5 from January 2008 to February 2009. Company First Sergeant at 1st Maintenance Battalion, Combat Logistics Regiment 15, 1st Marine Logistics Group, Recruiting Station, Sergeant Major at Recruiting Station, Albuquerque, 8th Marine Corps Recruit District in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Group Sergeant Major at Marine Aircraft Group 24, 1st Marine Aircraft Wing, Marine Corps Base, Kanoa Bay, Hawaii. Sergeant Major Garcia is currently serving as the Depot Sergeant Major for Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, in the Eastern Recruiting Region. Sergeant Major Garcia's personal decorations include the Military Service Medal with one gold star, Navy and Marine Corps Combination Medal with gold four gold stars, and a Navy and Marine Achievement Medal with one gold star. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sergeant Major CLG Garcia. Review is a tradition within all military units, allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge.
by Scientists of America's finest young men and women, with the basic knowledge and skill to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the core. That is what we do here. For the Marine Treasury today, the long and dangerous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step to the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the rank of our core, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Delta Company prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to School of Infantry, Camp Point in California, where they will continue to do training to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we'd like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become Marine. The company commander is Captain Randall Rainey. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Benjamin Laka. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Delta Company. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons.
the guidance when I will return to the drone instructors. graduates will not be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Roger A. Hollenbeck, and the battalion sergeant major, First Sergeant Jonathan Mejia. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until our honor graduates have been recognized. Present Ock. Order Ock. First class, Alisa A. Martinez from Maldera, California. The honor graduate for Platoon 1070 is Private First Class Aiden M. Gregory from Colorado Springs, Colorado. The honor graduate for Platoon 1071 and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Julian S. Bacos from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Lance Corporal Bacos is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while recruit training. The honor graduate for Platoon 1073 is Private First Class Brylin L. Hill from Greenville, Texas. The honor graduate for Platoon 1074 is Private First Class Jacob A. Agassad from San Diego, California. And the honor graduate for Platoon 1075 and the Sears honor graduate is Lance Corporal Landon J. South from Reno, Nevada.
very first sergeant when I give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss to the platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received through our recruit training. Senior drill instructor! Dismiss! George! Platoon! 